Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you Starmate Station Reviews and today we are taking a look at Relay Station by JWF JWF. And I must say this is a pretty interesting design, I'm not sure how it fits into the whole pirate base aesthetic, however it does have some pretty awesome exterior work, small as it may be, look at these trusses. My god, that is some intricate truss work, and I gotta say, it looks phenomenal. Uh, I wonder how long that took to figure out. It's definitely a really cool pattern, a really cool design. Curved trusses are the way to go, apparently. So, I've got some rings down here. I'm not sure what all this is meant to be for, this particular stuff down here. More random metal, you know, trusses sticking out of the bottom. This seems to go around. Okay, okay. Got some uh, metal section here with a build block. Nice. Nice integration to that build block. With uh, cables, apparently. These look like cables of some sort. Got some more truss work on the exterior of this. And it's actually even lifted off of it. It's kind of like a bumper, you know? You, like, crash into it and it, like, protects the rest of the station. There's two radio dishes here. Apparently this is a relay station, so it transmits comms. So there's two small relay uh, antenna there, and apparently this is the larger one, although to be completely honest, the overall uh, effectiveness of this as some sort of transmission array is a little strange to me. It, it looks unfinished, you know? I mean, look at this. There's like a corner missing here that is not missing over here. You know, it, it looks a little strange. I'm a little confused. Uh, it, it, I mean, I think this could have been pulled off better, but it's a cool idea and I definitely want to see what this structure looks like under, you know, a better uh, design, you know, attempt, I suppose. Right? Because it's interesting, and that's definitely the larger antenna, I think. But uh, we can go inside and check it out. There's a docking platform here. It's quite a simple station. We can go inside. It's, uh, it's a little plain in here. It is a little plain. These windows do look nice, though. We've got some lights on the roof. We've got the faction module integrated into some sort of column here, which is pretty cool. But again, this room could use a little sprucing up. Maybe some color. Maybe, you know, some more depth added with the walls. There's some seats here. It's a very, very strange pirate station, to say the least. You can see some of the color through this vent, but only just barely. Um, definitely uh, the possibility of adding color on the bottom other than just the black in here and potentially again depth so we come over here what's all this Ooh, got some nice computer terminals and I feel like I've seen this design elsewhere this is I have I know I have I don't know if JWF did another station but I am absolutely positive that I saw this on a trade guild base station that exact terminal design maybe a little bit different on the top but this interior section definitely have seen before so we go up here, and we've got quite an interior. Look at this. This is like piping that connects over here, and it goes across, it goes down the wall. Awesome stuff going on in here, right? This is a pretty neat control area. You know, we got like little desks here for people to work at. Again, it's kind of interesting considering this is a pirate station. It doesn't feel very piratey. It feels more uh, casual in terms of what you could expect from... Uh, pirate station. Uh, we got some hanging lights and of course with the uh... oh are these already turned off? No I don't actually think they are. There they are, now they're turned off. We can turn those off now so we don't have to have them on constantly. Not that it makes much of a difference. The white uh, overwashes the other light colors, right? We've got an airlock here. Let's go check out any other rooms that are a part of the station. Okay, another airlock of sorts, with uh, nothing at the end. And I'm betting there's something over here, right? Yes, there is. Oh, it goes up. Oh, okay, it goes outside. So, overall, a very simple station, not manned by many people. I think there definitely needs to be more to this station, because right now... There's no, like, rooms for people to live in, there's no living quarters, there's no recreational area, even if it's a very small recreational area. Something no long larger than this box uh, section here definitely would help. 
because otherwise people are just working non-stop in the station they have nowhere else to go so internal and external design i'm gonna say an eight out of ten it's very small but it's effective in areas there is some work that needs to be done on some places you know spruce up the insides a little bit give uh, a few more rooms to this station and i think it'll pay off big time because this is kind of cool this is a really neat design you know a relay station it looks somewhat you know you know the ring shape you know all the stuff sticking out of the side the truss work definitely sci-fi and i definitely like it effectiveness as a pirate station i'm gonna say a six out of ten and honestly it just doesn't feel like a pirate station to me not yet maybe if there were additional things on the station turrets maybe you know uh something to indicate that this is like uh you know not some place that needs that you know nice people live in i don't know uh, it, it feels very casual there's nothing inside that indicates that you know illegal activities are going on with the organization associated with it so that's what i have to say about this station this is the relay station by jwf jwf pretty cool i definitely like it uh especially what they've got going on with the internal design for the room so far so that was it for me. Uh, we'll check out the last and final pirate station in the next episode. Uh, and you can subscribe if you haven't already in order to see that episode come out. Until then, I will see you all next time.